We're making box chain, not rectangle chain. There you go. Too loose. Just right. Too tight. Just loose enough. Again, too tight. Just loose enough. Okay, today I got a message from uh, uh, one of my subscribers asking me about aspect ratio, and I I kind of I, I kind of explained it in um, my uh, JPL Jens pinned uh, tutorial, but uh, I guess I need to expand on it a little more. And I never really told you guys how uh, like a little trick that I use to uh, convert millimeters and inches into gauges for wire so that you can calculate aspect ratios. Uh, and uh, to help us understand that, I'm going to take you to the uh, exceedingly expensive math display. Okay, I bring to you at enormous expense the uh, math chart that I use to convert wire gauges. As you can see, 14 gauge is 2 millimeters, 16 gauge is 1.6 millimeters, so on and so forth. And you should see a pattern emerge um, from these numbers because here's the key that I use is 16 gauge. Because 16 gauge is equal to 1.6 millimeters or 1 16th of an inch. So you remember 16, 1.6, 1 16th. 1 16. 16, 16, 16, it's the same thing. Then all you have to do is go up or down from there. Now, from 14, or actually, I think it goes from 12 gauge too, but from 14 gauge down to 20 gauge is a difference of 0.2 per gauge. So from 16 up to 14 gauge is a difference of 0.4 because it's 0.2 times 2 is 0.4. So 1.6 plus 0.4 equals 2. Um... And then going down from there, you subtract 0.4 to get to 18 gauge, 1.2, and then again to get to 20 gauge at 0 0.8. Now from 20 gauge down, it go it changes to 0.1 millimeters per gauge. So from 20 gauge to 22 gauge, it's 0.8 to 0.6 because it was 0.2. It was 0.1 times 2. And then from 22 to 24 is uh, 0.4. And now to convert them into inches, which will make it easier because a lot of uh, uh, metal rods and stuff are measured in standard measurement and not metric, um, you can work off of this conversion, 1.6 to 1 16th. So from 1 16th up to 2.0, you uh, figure that... Uh, from 16 up to 20 is adding a, a fourth of it because a fourth of 16 is 0.4 or is 4 so 0.4 up to there so you could say that this is 5 fourths of 16 so or of 1.6 so 16 gauge equals 4 60 fourths so if you add one more this winds up equaling 5 60 fourths of an inch so, working downwards to 18 gauge, that winds up equaling 364. And then working down again to 20 gauge would be uh, 1 32nd. That's supposed to be a 2 of an inch. And you can see 20 gauge is half of 16 gauge, so that's another trick you can use. Um, and then for 20, from 20 to 22 gauge, you take, uh, again, half of this, so, or not half, it'd be three quarters of it. So that would be ooh, three, one twenty eighths of an inch. And it goes down to one sixty fourth of an inch. So yeah, you can see these kinds of conversions. So like, let's take this chain for example. It's made out of 16 gauge wire, spun around a 3 sixteenths of an inch uh, rod. So 1.6 millimeters, or 1 16th 
of an inch. And then uh, 3 sixteenths is the inner diameter. So if you take 3 sixteenths divided by 1 sixteenth, that's 3 over 1 equals an aspect ratio of 3, which is what you need for JPL 3 in 1. And for my box chain, or not for my box chain, for this full Persian, it's uh, 16 gauge 3 eighths. So if it's 1 16th over 3 eighths, which equals 6 sixteenths, that would equal an aspect ratio of 6. And you need the right aspect ratios for these. Otherwise, they will be too... Th this is just right, so it's flexible. But if it's too small, it will be rigid, and it won't bend as enough. Just like that. So as I showed you on that male, um, that male artisan's website, they for the weaves that they have on there for like tutorials and stuff, they have... In, under the description of the weave, it says the ideal aspect ratio for that sort of chain or unit or whatever it is. So that way you can get it right. So like, let's say, like for instance, if you wanted to use uh, 20 gauge instead of 16 gauge. Well, like I showed you before, 20 gauge is half the size of 16 gauge because that's 0.8 millimeters. So all you would have to do is... Um, cut it in half. So this is 3 sixteenths, so what's half of 3 sixteenths? That would be 3 thirty seconds. So that would be the size of a uh, dowel that you would need to make the rings the right size, to have an aspect ratio of 3. But uh, aspect ratio is really important with uh, chain mail, because if you don't get it right, I mean for some weaves like European 4-in-1 and, and all that, there's a lot of leniency, but for chains and stuff like that, you really have to get the aspect ratio right because otherwise the chain will not look weird or it won't it won't look right or it won't hold its shape you know and it you know and aspect ratio is important because it's a lot easier to tell people an aspect ratio of three than it is to list off the uh, wire gauge with relation to the dowel used to make the rings it's a lot easier just to say aspect ratio so that you have a ratio of how thick the wire is compared to the diameter of the ring and it makes things a lot simpler when you're teaching people how to make stuff if you just give them the aspect ratio that way whatever got whatever gauge they're using they can use the conversions that I showed you to figure out what their ring size has to be